I'm going to work on the robe a little bit. Uh, well, I'm going to extend it down to where it just barely touches the ground so that I can free this foot completely off the ground. In other words, I'm going to cut off the base right here. At least I'm going to try and uh, have the foot sort of hanging out there as if it was in mid stride and hadn't quite touched the ground. And then I'll start back on her face again. I've gotten everything rearranged in here so I can do this. And uh, just need to pick up all my uh, reference material here. Okay, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if it moves you too. First thing I did uh, was put a screw into the back of the uh, blanket because it was separating from the uh, Indian lady's uh, back. And so to hold it in place, I put uh, cut a uh, bottle cap up, made a washer out of it, and then screwed, uh, uh, put a wood screw into the back of the Indian lady and pulled the blanket back into the body of the, uh, the lady. The reason why it had pulled apart is because it had been sitting for 20 years. I mean, eventually things start to... Uh, distorting and cracking and falling apart and uh, so this was just the only repair I really had to do. Here I am taking the front of the base off from underneath the foot of the Indian girl so that her foot looks like it's hanging out there and uh, I kind of like that idea. All right, I'm back on the face uh, trying to get the other side of the face and I'll just let you watch this for a while.
I just took a globule of clay and just pressed it into her side of her head for the ear. I used to spend hours doing ears, but uh, over the years I've learned uh, they're not all that, co they're complicated, but they're not all that complicated. I'm going to have to have her ears showing because uh, she's going to be, her hair will be blowing in the wind and uh, they will be exposed. I decided to extend the length of the uh, blanket because the blanket was a little too short and uh, it just wasn't uh, typical of the type of trade blanket. I was going to have the uh, blanket offset a little bit. Uh, the fold over wasn't even and I didn't I don't like things that are even. Um, so I'm, this is the uh, part that will be underneath the, the uh, fold over part of the uh, blanket that lays on top of this part of the blanket. I, I think I just confused everybody. But I basically just framed in the, the uh, clay and then just flattened out pieces of clay using a, a ink roller that you can get from a, a uh, art supply store. Um, just uh, It's a rubber roller uh, that uh, they, they, people use to put ink on plates and stuff like that. Um, it works really good for rolling clay, but uh, I'm just filling in uh, the space. <coughs> The only reason I'm not uh, uh, melting the clay and, and putting a cloth in there because uh, it might ruin what good work I did on the robe and I don't want to do that.
Okay, I've started to, I worked on the robe, uh, the blanket. I wanted to brace up this leg down here because that leg is going to be the only thing holding this whole thing up. And uh, so what I did was I brought the robe down. That gives it strength both laterally and forward um, because now it's attached to the base and uh, it's all this mass here. Now that is the uh, thing that will hold it from you know keep it from uh, bending because bronze is soft um, started the hair I'll I'm gonna go to bed now because it's a uh, three o'clock in the morning I've been working all night on this thing and uh, I've just been having fun with it it's just uh, a lot of fun to revisit this piece I don't know why I didn't do this two years ago I mean it's a great little sculpture it's just I guess I just saw it up there and just didn't think anything of it and uh, I'm kind of glad I took a second look at it. All right, well, I'm just going to call it quits for now. Um, I want to look at this hair tomorrow morning and see how I feel about it. I've got a lot to do back here with the hair, but uh, I just wanted to get it started, at least get a feel for what the uh, wind is going to be doing with this uh, long uh, hair. I, I, I remember trying um, braids years ago. Um, with this thing and it just didn't work with braids and so it's just a matter of uh, I, I guess I just wasn't ready back then I didn't have the abilities that I have now back then and uh, so you know you just sort of put things aside that you're having trouble with and someday down the road you're gonna figure out how to do it right all right good night